excuse me if I seem a little excited, okay? I've been taped for the TV show for the past few weeks. How about I just found out that it's gonna be airing tomorrow night. So I officially got my first real TV credit. Clap it up for your boy. Clap it up for your boy. I made it, I'm excited. And I want y'all to all check it out too, but I'm a little nervous. I don't know if y'all Do y'all get America's Most Wanted in Orlando? <laughs> Okay, make sure y'all check that out, I'll be on that. Actually, I ain't gonna lie, I'm really just happy that I'm here in Orlando. My flight landed safely earlier. They flew me all the way in from Altamont Springs, so it's good to be here in front of y'all. But they put me on Southwest Airlines, which is the most... Any of y'all ever took Southwest Airlines? Is this not the most ratchet airline you ever took in your life? Ratchet gets me really bad in black people. Language, you know? a flight, baby girl, when my little daughter said she wanted to ask the pilot a question, which I encourage. I want my kids to be smart. You know, we come from the lineage of Egyptians and real smart folks in the past. And so I got a little upset when we ended up going to the cockpit and my daughter gonna catch an attitude with the pilot. We get up there, she and the pilot in the cockpit talk about some, um, <laughs> Mr. Pilot, sir, how come, my daughter black, by the way, y'all still <laughs> Why y'all so confused? I don't know how y'all got to the front. We gonna work on that, though. <laughs> Mr. Paddock, how come um people have baby people and um animals have baby animals, but um Southwest airplanes ain't got no baby airplanes? <laughs> like at this point, I'm looking at my child like, what in the hell is you going through? Have you been in my stash? What's going on? But the pilot was cool, y'all. This dude looked at me and went. And he looked at her and smiled. Said, you really want to know why we don't have no baby airplanes? Easy. Why? That's because Southwest airplanes always pull out on time. <laughs> Man, I came in, they tried to send me straight to the kitchen. I'm like, man, I'm supposed to be on stage tonight, thank you. Why are my black folk that's here right now? Make some noise! That's what I'm talking about. Lift every voice. That's what I'm talking about, man. We gonna need it. We got any white folks in the building? Make some noise, white folks. All right, all right, all right. Calm down. Don't be so proud. Man. I just seen Django. I'm still a little mad at y'all. Calm down. Step down. Any Latinos in the building make noise, Latinos? Oh, man, look at y'all, always the loudest. Look at that, man. It's about 50 of them in here, they all came in the back of a Honda Civic, you know what I'm saying? Like, how does that happen? You got no problem with Latinos. The only problem I got is I need y'all to make up your little mind about which one of your little islands is the best island. Dang it. Because they always argue, and you always hear them, is it Cuba? Is it Puerto Rico? You're wrong. The best island is Jamaica. And I ain't even Jamaican or nothing, I'm just regular black, let's just be clear. But I fell in love with everything when I went down to Jamaica. The beaches, the weed, I ain't gonna lie. But what I fell most in love with is the music, because I'm a reggae. Any reggae lovers in here? Hold on, hold on, let's be clear. Latinos, I said reggae. Not reggaeton. You always hear them, right, man, with this reggaeton stuff. If you're anything like me, you heard it involuntarily at a stoplight somewhere. They creep up on you, you riding down International Drive. Next thing you know, you hear <laughs> They get right next to you. <laughs> next thing you know, they ride up on you, they start singing to We let them there, we let them there, we let them in the up, in the up, eh, hey. we let them there, uh, we let them there, uh, we let them in the up, in the up, eh. It's finally here, <laughs> That was way longer than 30 minutes, you know what I'm saying? But that is not reggae, Latinos. Because for reggae, you gotta be ugly as heck like this, y'all so... <laughs> you know what they call a screw bass, you know what I'm saying? Shut up! And then Jamaicans go crazy. And my trip Jamaicans, they go nuts when they hear their music. And I'm wrong, because Jamaicans got that good amp crazy 
crazy loco music that makes you go ham. And if you don't like reggae, I don't know how you don't go crazy. How do you not go ham when you hear, so they remember the days when it was my own man. Me and mama bed was a big piece of bone man. He never liked me. And he was like, The first time I heard this baby girl, I was like, wow, Jamaicans don't care what they throw down. You know what? I said, I will be at this church every Sunday. Jesus. Hey, shut up. That's all right. I got a homeboy who's really mad at me right now because he's Haitian. Have you heard of those Haitians? Have we have any Haitians in the audience? does that mean, man? <laughs> you can't use that. Spell it real quick. Spell it. You can't put sock by say on words with brains. That ain't a real word, man. <laughs> and he's mad at me for real because he's from Haiti. <laughs> so he thinks out of all the islands, Haiti is the best island. <laughs> but I had to tell him, I say, um... <laughs> I looked on Google Earth. <laughs> and last I checked, don't Haiti share an island with the Dominican Republic? I'm sorry, big bro, that's not an island. That there is a duplex, okay? <laughs> Man, we having a good time. You having a good time tonight? I got a whole lot more where that came from. We gotta let the show move on. But since y'all being so good, I just wanna give y'all something real quick after the show if you like. Don't worry about it, this one's on me. See, I like to give away stuff that I love. What's something that y'all love real quick? Just shout it out real quick, shout it out. Money, money. 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 I, I, yeah, I figured the ratchet table is part of the money. Like y'all still ain't got no, y'all spent that income tax check a long time ago. How about y'all like shirts, shirts? Shirt. All right, cool. Shirts, well, today's your lucky day. Something that I love after the show. I got a feeling that 80% of y'all will. This looks like a Pine Hill Altamont Sanford crowd right here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get this to y'all after the show. If you like it, come holler at your boy. This is a sweet of y'all. Alright, alright, this is my shirt. I'm giving this away after the show for free for $20. Okay, so don't worry. <laughs> I got one for everybody. This is a man's shirt, but don't worry. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make anybody feel bad. I see y'all got, I got the Real Housewives of, what is this, uh, Seminole County right here. <laughs> That's fantastic. I don't want to alienate anybody. This is my shirt for black folks. We can all wear it, but I want to be real. All us black folks, that should be real. We all have a white friend, right? Or a white coworker, or a white probation officer, or whatever. <laughs> So I want to make y'all feel welcome, white folks. I went through the trouble of making a shirt just for you. Because I'm not racist because I have this shirt. I want you to have something after the show. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to holler at me as well, this is perfectly fine. This is for you. You're my white friends now. So this is for you. It is a white shirt. <laughs> that says, I love being black. Hey, y'all are having such a great time with y'all tonight. Look me up online at therealvincetaylor.com and do not drink and drive tonight. Pull over and sip. Enjoy your evening. I'm just telling you, I'm going to be a I have you living life like you should. Just say you never 